Hi, Simon here, GM8NYB. Uh, just uh, progressing a little with the CL100. I have now got most of the IF wiring in, in fact all of it I think, but the, all the IF cans in and the passband switch here uh, has been wired up. Uh, just zoom in on that passband. Uh, I had to really think about that when I was putting it together. Uh, not too hard, but um, it, it's just the configuration of the, the, the switches. Uh, the count on the drawer, if you look at the drawer in the count, they start at the bottom here and they go in a clockwise direction, uh, anti clockwise. So it starts at pin 1 to pin 6, pin 7, pin 12, same on all of them. But this one's reversed, so you have to count it the opposite direction. So I'll try, try and keep that in your head while you did it. The other point out, uh, thing to point out now is there's a lot of cables here in this corner, the, the three coaxes, uh, these two, the yellow and the white I've put in here, they go off to the, um, the, 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 the audio side. The purple and the grey, I've got them coming out under here, they go to that uh, 100 hertz filter. So the next thing to do is to put in the HF board. It's quite uh, going to be quite a tight fit here. Um, zoom out a bit. You'll see in this corner here a little cutout. Now that's where all these cables are going to have to go. So I'm going to see if I can get this in carefully. Also noticed I think there's a slight twist on this. Hard to say. But I think it'll come in quite nicely. So, let's see how that goes in. These have to be wired first to here and then onto the backboard there. So we'll see how we get on. There's also uh, gaps underneath for certain wires to go under. These, I think, will be going under here. So I'm to have to try and fish them out. Now, this is the tricky bit here. And these cables, I don't want to get trapped. So they seem to be not too bad. Yeah, they're quite free there, they're not trapped. This, of course, is going to have to sit a just over the top of the transformer. That's going. So I need to find all the screws that came out of there. Try and get them in. Try and sit it flat there. I see that hole's not lined up. I think once I start getting the screws in, you know, all the start to pull together there. I also have to watch I notice some of the switch wafers on the pass band. There's some of the terminals on that side of the wafer over there bit proud. Okay, I think I'll uh, try and get these screws in now. Well, I remember when I took them out they were quite awkward, especially these ones. It seems to be a small twist on here. Now use these um, small countersunk machine screws. I see the holes aren't quite lined up, but I'm going to use this to try and move this one into place here. So let's see how we go on here. If we get one started, I think the rest will come in.
that started there. Bit bad, I don't want to force it in yet until I get the other one lined up. Cut there. I'll stop the video while I put in the rest. There's two for this side to do. Put a strain on it. And there's one here and a couple on the inside there. Okay, this is the other side. It's quite proud that there. Um what I'm gonna do is Try and line this up with this spiky thing here. And hopefully this bottom one is lined up. Yeah, so push that down there. I should then hopefully get this screwing. Well, I got that one started there. It was quite tough and couldn't get it started in the top. That's quite tight. I remember when they came out, they were very awkward to get out. So, probably not the best angle to do this. <laughs> As luck would have it, I've mislaid it. After all the screws, I kept them all in little bags, and then there's one missing there. I've got the four that go in here, they're self tappers, but these were the machine screws. So I'll uh, stop the video over there and um, go and look for it. Right, there's a it's very small space here, but there's these. Um, these are little self tappers and they go in here so see if we can get that one in these tweezers are very good <laughs> but, uh, I need two hands for this lost Tricky, I don't think there's any easier way of doing this. It looks quite lined up that hole, it's just a matter of getting that started. One in, three more to go. One in this uh, one in this corner and one up there. Okay. Well you can see how tricky that is. And it didn't help with this is a slight twist on it. I think that might explain why this is the the, the uh, 
the paxlin here is slightly bowed out when I put the twist back on it. So, right, okay, that's it for now. I shall this week I'll attempt to wire up this board, and uh, hopefully that'll be the radio nearly half complete. The rest of the inside to do would be over here. The transforms to go in, obviously, the big capacitor. Finish the wiring of the main switch, and this is the mode switch here, so that's to be poked under there and somehow fished through. But uh, that'll, so I'll do that during the week. These capacitors also have to be wired up to the board. And then hopefully you get the uh, larger capacitors in over there above the transformer with the transformer and then I may start on the top side. Right, thank you for watching. Hope that was of interest and catch you next time. Bye bye.